Hello, 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 Lee Cole. Hope you all are doing great and got some really, really cool stuff to talk to you about today. Um, as you know, there are tons of really, really cool things happening with Lioness, the division of Lioness, into two basic divisions, Lioness on the one hand and Lycanet on the other hand. And if you're not up to speed with that, you need to get help on that because um, uh, it's important for you to know where, where you stand. It's important for you to know which of these two things you're going to approach people with. Uh, let me just explain this very, very briefly. Lioness is now more the consumer end of things. Uh, so I use my sister-in-law as an example, someone who will uh, who, who, who would register a few people, but uh, or refer a few people, but uh, probably is not going to go great guns with this whole thing. And uh, she would get into Lioness, she would use the shopping, she would get the cash back, she would refer her husband, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So if you have people who you think are not really going to go, you know, full tilt with it, then talk to them about Lioness. I mean, it's always called Lioness, but, but you know, just don't talk to them about being a business builder. Don't talk to them about uh, uh, the desire to make a big income and go full time. Uh, for people that you're talking to who are business builders or potential business builders, then yes, you need to introduce the concept of Lycanet to them. You know, both are still free to join and free to uh, be members of, but um, uh, the Lycanet gives you a more massive, uh, basically more of a business-like back end. Uh, also, there are, you know, training and more training, more tools available, et cetera, et cetera. You know, on this topic, when I was first looking into various business models for myself uh, for this next phase in my life which ended up which is what ended up with me being here in line us uh, one of the things I did was um, I got uh, uh, I, I, I got online and I googled you know network marketing stuff like that and I ran into Eric Warre that's spelled w-o-r-r-e I think just one e w-o-r-r-e and Eric is an MLM veteran. Uh, he has a website, and just Google his name, Eric Worry, and uh, you will find that website. And he's got tons of cool information. He just wrote a book a few months ago called Go Pro, which I bought and read several times. And I thought it was really cool. Uh, he had a um, series of. This is one of the first things that I, I used for my research. He had a series of, I think they were audios if I remember, uh, and I've forgotten the name of them. And uh, those audios were, you know, basic MLM stuff, how to talk to people, how to sponsor, et cetera, et cetera. And he said, you know, really don't go talking to other people about your goals. Don't go talking to other people about, hey, uh, you know, look, let's say you got somebody who's a, a CPA or you got somebody who's a high school football coach or something like that. They already got a career. They may be happy with it. Uh, they may want more money. They may kind of see a dream, but they may not see that dream in, in broad technicolor like you do. And so, um, you know, Eric's advice, and I think this is really true, although I tend to forget it sometimes, is don't go talking to other people about quitting and doing something new. They may not want to. They may be scared to. They probably are scared to. Okay? So just talk to them about part-time income. You know, that's the way you can get make some more money part-time. You know, Linus fits right into that schema. Uh, talking to people exist. excuse me, talking to people about something that they can do to save money on money they're already spending and they can make a little extra money doing this. If you get a bunch of people in your network who are doing that, you're going to be fine money-wise. Especially as Linus hits and as it moves its way into consumer consciousness in the United States as it has in Europe, you can be sitting pretty. Um, you scare people off sometimes. I think if you 
you know, just jump all over them and, and say, hey, you can do this and you can do that. Those are your goals. Those may not be their goals. So how did I get off on that tangent? I'm not really sure. But anyway, I think it's a good tangent to get off on. Um, so bottom line is um, Gloria and I and Don was on the webinar also. Um, we're doing a weekly opportunity webinar. This is like the old style opportunity meeting. And, uh, you know, you hijack people, you get them in your car, you take them there and make them look, you know, make them look at the meeting. And, you know, just kind of joking about that. But this is basically a weekly event. It's always going to be Friday at 8.30 Eastern Time. It will be recorded. And uh, you're looking at the sign-up page for it right here. And um, this webinar is something that you can count on to send people to. So, uh let's talk about where this would fit in to how you would introduce Lioness to other people. Um, so, well, let's use uh, my sister-in-law um, because for, for, for lack of a better person. So if I, if I hadn't ever told my sister-in-law about Lioness, how would I do that? Well, remember, I'm not going to tell her, hey, you can quit this and do something else like I'm doing, and you can you know, be driving around in a Tesla in a few years. That's going to overwhelm her. We just talked about that. Okay, It needs to be down on the level of, um, hey, I'm doing something that's saving us a little money shopping. It's really cool. It's easy to do. And by the way, as I get more people in on this, uh, um, I make money off of their shopping. You know, Sprint, the uh, phone company that, I don't know if they still have this, but uh, recently they came out with what they call their Framly plan, you know, friends and family, Framly plan. Uh, that is a good way to peg this with other people. You know, you, people look at you and say, hey, you know, because Sprint did a lot of advertising, a lot of mainstream advertising about the Framly, Framly plan. It's a hideous word to pronounce, but it's a concept that people understand. So sometimes I'll say, you know, it's kind of like that thing Sprint did where if you get your friends and family in, your bill goes down. Except here, we're not talking about you you know, spending less money. We're talking about you making money. It's kind of like that. So you just get some people in on this, and you start making more money. Save money on your shopping, make money on what they do, right? Now, so you talk to people about this, okay? They don't have to be heavy hitter business builders is what I'm saying. Now, if you have a heavy hitter business builder, then you talk to them in a different way. And if you don't know how to talk to if you've recently gotten in on this, you don't know how to talk to them, let me know. I'll tell you how to talk to them. But your average person, i.e. 90% of the people you're going to talk to, you want to talk to them about getting in on this at a part-time lower level. And you do that by introducing the concept. You're going to save money on your shopping. You get some, some of your friends and some of your family in there. You're going to make some money on their shopping. It's a win-win-win situation. Are you interested? That's all you got to say. You know, don't, don't, you know. Uh, one of the best things I ever learned was from Ray Higdon, who told me, don't be addicted to the outcome. Okay, so don't care what the outcome is. Fine. Doesn't matter. All right? So you just let them do what they want. So so let, let's use the example again. So walk up to somebody. Uh, oh, I was talking to a lady who's a manager at the Panera Bread Company. I, you know, she, she's like one of my buddies. And, uh, you know, I said, hey, I'm doing something new. She said, well, Lee, what are you doing? I said, I got this new thing where I'm saving a little money on my shopping. And if I get friends and family in on this, I make a little money off of their shopping. Is this something you'd be interested in? Well, I mean, who's going to say that they're not interested in something easy to save money with, right? And to make a little extra money? She said, sure. I said, well, and I already had her email address. Said, I tell you what, I'm going to shoot you a quick video. So that would be your next step. Once you get agreement that they're interested, and most people, frankly, are going to tell you they're interested. Okay. Once you get agreement that they're interested, then you send them a video. And if you don't know what video to send them, let me know. I will tell you which video to send them. Uh, with the Lioness Lycanet thing, uh, they've got a new video, and so uh, you know. You, just say, hey, Lee, I don't know what video to send them, so we'll hook you up with a video. Then, you know, they look at the video, you call them back, all right, say, what do you think about the video? Or if you're like me, I'm going to pull the video up on my phone if they have some time. Now, my friend at the, the sandwich shop uh, manager was right in the middle of work, and there's no way she's going to stand there and look at a video on my phone, right? But you can pull the video up on your phone and show it to them also. 
So uh, you get back in touch with the person and say, hey, just wanted to you know, see what you thought about that video. Now what I do, okay, this is what I do, because I don't like calling people back and them not being there having done what I need them to do. So when I say, I'm going to send you this video, the next thing they say, cool, just send it to me, here's my email address, and then I'm sending it to you, right? The next thing out of my mouth is, uh, just to manage my time, See, this, this builds me up, okay? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not just some schmuck out here, right? I'm a business person. So just, to, just so I can manage my time and also be uh, you know, cognizant and aware of your time, when should I call you back and see what you thought about this video? I was making an appointment to call them back. Uh, call me back on Thursday at 4. Okay, so you, know, you just write that in your little day timer or your Google calendar or whatever you use. Call back Thursday at 4. What's your phone number? Get the phone number down there. So now you call them back. So uh, once you got you know got them there, okay. So either they're interested at that point or they're not. If they're interested and they're ready to go, then you sign them up as per the way we sign up people now in Line S. If they're not interested, then a good thing to do is to drive them to this webinar. Or if they need more information, see this is a good next step. Um, you can drive them to the webinar immediately. You know, you can just you know say to someone, "Hey, you're interested in this? Yes, I am." Well, listen, we're having a webinar on Friday, but then you know, there's some hoops that they got to jump through. They got to get the email. They got to click on it. They got to register. They got to actually be there Friday at 8:30 and all that stuff. Okay, so. Um, Excuse me, my wife was writing me a note at that moment. <laughs> but anyway, so I would suggest that you go introduce the idea. This is the pattern. Introduce the idea, send them the video at that moment, schedule a time to call them back. Okay? Then you call them back. Did you like it? Yeah, man, that's great. Well, what do I have to do to get signed up? Because it's free, right? So then you go into your Line S account, you send them, you know, you, you go through the sign-up process, which is easier now than it was a couple of weeks ago. But if they're sitting on the fence say, well, you know, I've got some questions about blah, 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 then this webinar is a great place to send them to because uh, they're going to hear me and Gloria and possibly Don Ketterhagen on this webinar every week. And they'll get to ask questions, and they'll get to hear real people talk about their real lives and their real examples. And it's going to bring it real, and it's going to just sort of um, help them understand um, this isn't just some pie-in-the-sky type thing. They're, they're real, normal people doing this. So that would really be the way, if I were you, that I would use this webinar. Now, I am personally also using the webinar in other ways. Uh, I am using this a lot through social media. Our first webinar, we had 21 people signed up for the webinar, and I did that through LinkedIn and uh, somewhat through Facebook, and basically all I did was just post a little thing on my profile, my personal profile. Hey, I'm talking about, you know, and you can read the copy here and see what I was talking about, but I'm talking about yada, 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 yada. Uh, we're talking about it on this webinar. I'm not going to sell you anything, but just want to tell you about what I'm doing. And uh, most of my... Uh, uh, traffic to the squeeze page came from LinkedIn by far and all I did was I just uh, uh, printed out all my LinkedIn connections and uh, uh, basically just used just going through those at about 35 a day and I just send people a little message that uh, says um, you know basically Blah, blah, blah. I mean, you can write your own message. It has to, or, or if you don't know how to write that message, hit me up. I'll be happy to talk to you, talk you through that. But I write a message, send them a message. It's a copy and pasted message. Again, it's got the link to the webinar sign up. And uh, 21 people on the webinar. That wasn't bad. We had uh, only two of those 21 drop out before the webinar was over with. And toward the end of the webinar, I had 80% um, Go to webinar can keep track of whether people are paying attention or not. Now that is defined as are they looking at the web page that my webinar is on, and eighty percent of people were. So I know the message got through. 
doing this is a matter, for me, it's a matter of consistency. Okay, uh, and for you, it would be a matter of consistency also. So this is another thing that you can do to get people interested in this. Um, now, you're looking at the sign-up page for yesterday's webinar. Uh, we will have another webinar a week so from, from yesterday, so that'll be the 28th. Same time, same thing, everything's the same except this is this November the 28th instead of the 21st. And today's Saturday, the day after the webinar. I'm just about to change those two dates and to uh, update the webinar replay. And uh, I mean, not the webinar replay, but to update the uh, webinar sign up. And um, yeah, do that. Um, when people register for the webinar, we do collect their email. And um, some of you know me across uh, more than one business. This is not one of my emails that I send, you know, uh, marketing messages to. This is an email devoted to an email list devoted to Lioness. Um, so you may be wondering, well, wait a minute, Lee. Um, especially as our group grows, I mean, there's there's some of y'all in in my network who don't know me personally. And by the way, if you were listening to this, you think, well, wait a minute, Lee, I don't even know you personally. Please reach out to me. Let, let's get on the phone or Skype and, and let's talk and let me know how I can help you build your Lioness business. Because uh, frankly, in my heart, this is your most significant financial opportunity that you will ever have in your lifetime. I'm 57 years old, so you know, just, just grant me uh, a little wisdom here. Um, hang on, my wife is writing me another note. Yes. So, you know, go figure. The the perils of working at home, right? So, uh, she's still listening to see what other smart smarty pants thing I'm going to say. But anyway, um, so, you know, if you don't know me or Gloria, reach out to us. We're here to help you, okay? We want to get to know you. But you may be wondering, well, wait a minute. If I drive people to your webinar, uh, how are they going to sign up, and are you going to get the benefit of them signing up? Absolutely, because uh, especially as this thing grows, I didn't at the end of this webinar, but we will on the next webinar have a sign-up form for people uh, at the end of the webinar, a form, if you're interested, then fill in all this stuff. Okay, One of those fields is going to be who sent you here. So we're going to keep track of you know, people. As a matter of fact, people off the webinar that we talked to during the course of the week, the first question out of our mouths is, who have you been talking to about lineups? Because I talk to so many people, I can't, even, I can't even remember it. Okay, Gloria does. Uh, who have you talked to about lineups? Well, I talked to so-and-so. Okay, cool. So I would carry on uh, talking to them about their information on lineups, but when it comes to time to actually sign up, you will be the one that sends them the invite, not me, obviously, because that way when they uh, fill in their stuff and, you know, and hit hit the hit the submit button. They end up under you and not me. Now you're under me, so it all benefits me. That's the beauty of how this business works. We are not working at cross purposes to each other, but they will be directly under you as opposed to directly under me, and they will benefit you. Okay, instead of just benefiting me. So that's how we're going to handle that. Yet another tool that we've got to help you on, on the road to success. Um, that's what I know this week. Thank you so much. Uh, if anybody has any questions, uh, uh, it's a pretty quiet crowd this week, and that's totally cool. Don't want to uh, take too much time that I don't have to, but if anybody has any questions about this, let me, now's the time to let me know. Okay, cool. So I think we're good with that. Um, Thank you so much, and uh, I will put the link to, see, the link to this page is always going to be the same every week. The only thing that changes is the date here, okay? The link to the page is always going to be the same. So you can just keep that link, just, you know, copy and, you know, just bookmark it, and then you can use that in your normal course of events, all right? You have a wonderful, wonderful week, and get some people signed up for Lioness, and if you don't know how to do that, let me know, because I do know how to do that. See you later.